Hi, this is JP from Northern Lights over Arkham. Welcome to another episode of the Learn to Play The Lord of the Rings LCG series where we play the starter decks from the revised core set. And this time we have the fourth and last starter deck and it is the spirit uh, aspect um, starter deck or sphere of influence starter deck. And uh, uh, last time we played the tactics and that didn't go well but it is what it is hopefully this goes a bit better uh, but we'll see uh, if you're looking for a how to play uh, explanation of all of the phases I recommend checking out the leadership um, sphere of influence uh, gameplay on this series where I go on the first turn a bit more into depth about all of the phases of the game but I will go over the phase names and what I'm doing during this gameplay so if you just want more familiarity with the phases this is an okay place to start but if you want a more in-depth uh, rundown of the different phases then check out that video first but without further delay let's get started <laughs> So, the leadership was the all-arounder, the lore is the healing one, and the tactics is the uh, enemy management one of the sphere, sphere of influences. So, spirit is uh, naturally uh, focused on uh, advancing the quest and dealing with the uh, encounter deck and um, maybe uh, questing a lot and stuff like that. So, hopefully this time uh, we won't run into too many enemies and get overwhelmed with those, so let's see how this goes. I have already pre shuffled the decks, and just uh, to note, uh, I think this uh, hero spread is uh, the most least threat on this dial at the start, so 24, so we have plenty of time in this game, but we'll see how that goes, because if we get a bunch of enemies, we are in trouble, but those should be uh, easy to quest. So let's draw our opening hand. We'll see how this starts. So we get the favor of the lady. That is a good one. Uh, we get a couple of uh, hasty strokes. So cancel a shadow effect just triggered during combat. Okay. Uh, Lorian guide. Strength of will and the uh, power of in the earth so only got one ally uh, which is a shame but it is what it is uh, maybe we'll try with this there are some good cards here so we'll stick uh, stick to this hand for now Let's see how it goes so, uh, we start our first turn, we add resources to our heroes, we draw a card, and it is the stand and fight, action choose an ally with print cost of X, and in, in any player's discard pile put that ally into play under your control. Uh, so, that is a good card to get those allies back. So, immediately I think I'm just gonna play the ally, so we want to... So we'll go to the planning phase, so we play the ally with three resources. Uh, we don't have any more resources, so that is the planning phase done. So we'll go to the questing phase. And I think uh, we will uh, quest with Eowyn. So action, discard one card from your hand to give Eowyn plus one until... Plus one um, in will until the end of the phase. This effect may trigger by each player once each round. So we'll quest with her, we'll quest with uh, this, and uh, we'll actually... I'm discarding one of these, so we get plus one here. So five, six, against three, so we go to the staging, so we get an encounter card, and it is some two, so Dolgur, Kuldur, Orc, 
So five against uh, six. So we get one progress token here. <laughs> Not that much, but at least something. Uh, then, let's see. We have the travel phase. So after you travel to a location, exhaust a character to place two progress tokens on that location. So I'll exhaust this and play this. And, and we'll actually travel over here. So we get to ready someone. I'll ready her. And uh, we get to get uh, put two progress tokens on this. So it's easier to get rid of next turn. Uh, we have two enemies, so uh, none of them are... Uh, we can optionally ignore them, so we ignore them for now, maybe, or should we... Yeah, we'll ignore them for now, and uh, if during the engagement checks we are at 24, so none of these engage. So, we can do something else. And uh, uh, we go to the combat phase, we deal shadow cars, None of them are engaged, so we don't deal them. We don't have any enemy attack, so I will use uh, Dunhair to uh, attack. So Dunhair can target enemies in the staging area when he attacks alone. When doing so, he gets plus one fight. So I'm attacking this guy for three, because we don't want to get that enemy into play anytime soon. Okay, well. Uh, that was the combat phase, we go to refresh phase, so we're ready, uh, we add one threat, so next turn this guy will engage us, but that was the first turn, let's go to the next turn. We start with the resource phase, we add resources, uh, then we draw a card and we get unexpected courage attached to a hero, exhaust unexpected courage to ready attached hero. So we are playing this on uh, done here. That is because we want to attack and probably attack again. Well, that doesn't work because we don't have an action window there. So actually, I'm attaching it to Elvin so we can quest twice. Questing phase, probably. Well, uh, uh, we could do something like. I'm a bit unfamiliar with the action phases with this game still, so bear with me. So, attach your hero, exhaust, unexpected, ready, attach hero. Uh, let's not play this yet. I actually want to play this. So we can quest better. So we'll play that. So now Elwin has uh, four, uh, five wheel power or wheel, wheel power, yeah. So we get the quest better. Okay, uh, that is the planning phase done. I'm not playing anything else at the moment, so. We'll go to the uh, questing phase, so Elwin... Uh, hmm. I'm discarding this to boost Elwin, and Elwin will quest for 6. And... Uh, we will... We are against 4, so I think we want to quest for 7. And we'll... Okay, so we'll uh, commit to a quest, so we place one here, so this gets resolved. Okay. 
and that is it so no no uh, we can't do that because that damn enemy will engage us and we don't have a defender for that okay we'll do it like so oh yeah uh, let's keep her up and do this it this this way okay so now now it works okay uh, so we have six seven against four so we go to staging we get plus two so six versus seven so we add one here and that is it then we go to travel phase well we'll travel over here if you can reveal the top part of the deck and add it to the staging area to travel here we reveal an chief talk okay well that that is annoying Okay, uh, well, uh, we go to travel uh, encounter phase, so uh, this engages us, this won't, so I'm defending with uh, Eleanor, and I am attacking over here to defeat this enemy. And this actually gets a shadow card first before that, so uh, let's back up. So, mm, three attack and uh, deal one damage to each character that the defending player controls. So, damn it, that is one of the most annoying cards. Okay, and uh, now this hits for. Two more, so god damn it, this is hard. So uh, actually, one more, yeah, because it is. It has three, so yeah. Eleanor is nearly dead, but it is what it is. So at least now this enemy dies when we attack. So at least something, and then. Uh, we result the player attacks, refresh phase, we refresh everything. And add a threat, so 26. Okay, well, that was a bit of a confusing turn for me. But yeah, uh, that was the turn done, so let's go to the next turn. We add more threat uh, uh, resources, I mean. Uh, we get a card. It is the Dwarven Tomb. Ac uh, return one card from your discard pile to your hand. Okay. We don't have any really spicy cards over here. So I think we are just questing and trying to defeat this enemy this turn with the Dark Heroes. Uh, okay. How oh, should we do this? So I think. Uh, okay, so if this defends, we can return it to play. So that sounds good, so. Okay. Ewin will quest. Uh, five. And. Uh, Six against two. So I think that's good enough. No, uh, seven. No. Okay, so uh, we'll quest. So seven versus two. So we get an encounter card, and it is deal one damage to its in, uh, exhaust character. So, of course, uh, Eleanor dies. Uh, 
Uh, I so much hate these um, volunteers or uh, the necromancer freeds cards. Oh, oh, back up. Uh, no, no help. This is only for the shadow cards. Oh yeah. Well, this will be a short game again. Well, uh, I, I think these starter decks are not that good. They are really flimsy. At least in true solo. Uh, okay. Well, I'm uh, going to count now. So, uh, we have a two against six. So we defeat this one. We'll add one here. Making some progress, but that doesn't help us a lot, unfortunately. Uh, we'll go to the encounter phase, uh, travel phase, not travel, we go to encounter phase, so we'll defend against this one with this. And then we go to the combat phase, we deal shadow cards, nothing happens. This uh, Ali dies. Let's see. Now I need to check the fa uh, check the order of actions. So after dealing shadow cards, that doesn't help us. Can't play it yet. Play it next turn. Probably. Okay, well, I will deal two damage over here. And that is the combat phase done. We ready up. We advance dial. And that is it. So, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add resources, only two now, and we get a card, okay, well, we can just use three to, yeah, in the staging area to play this, then I will go to questing, uh, I will quest with Erwin, uh, this stays here. So I'll discard one card. So we are at six against two and we get an encounter card which is a two so four so we add two here. We're doing slow progress but that really doesn't help us a lot. Uh, we'll go to Uh, travel phase, we have nowhere to travel. Uh, we'll go to encounter phase, so those won't engage yet. This does, so we'll defend. And uh, we'll. This deals too, so this is defeated. Uh, we get the shadow card, of course, so. East Blight Patrol. So. Oh no, a shadow attacking enemy get plus one. Okay, so it just that it doesn't matter so we'll defeat this enemy and we'll go to uh, refresh phase so we refresh these and add one threat and that is that turn let's go to the next turn we add resources we get the card and it is Gandalf would love to have Gandalf in play, but we don't have the resources yet. Next turn, maybe. So I'm not actually playing anything. I'm just gonna quest, and then I'll discard this to boost it. So 
6 versus 4. Encounter card is uh, Enchanted Stream. So 6 versus 6 is 0. Nothing happens. We'll travel over here. So well, and, uh, we can draw cards. Well, I'm hoping to get past this fast with the help of Gandalf next turn. We'll uh, use what's his name done here to attack. Let's see which one is scarier. Oh yeah, uh, this is a 10 out of 30. So this actually engages us. Uh, I, I might have had this in play last turn and watch that this is 30, not 10. So. And this has a when revealed effect, so I missed that also. So we are making a lot of mistakes. So I'm. Uh, I don't know who were uh, in. Who were uh, when this was revealed? Uh, that's the quest thing, so. Can't do that. Okay, so instead of uh, that, I will defend and uh, we'll get a shadow card. Choose and discard one attachment from the defending character. Okay, so the attached character, the attacked character doesn't have attachments. So, uh, two. Against one, it, uh, so down here takes one damage. That is it. Uh, we'll go to the next phase. So are we ready? And we'll add one threat. That is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. This turn we add two resources. Draw a card. Oh yeah, we don't draw cards because of this. So uh, we will play Gandalf. That is our last hope to get this game under some control. So after Gandalf and en Gandalf enters play, choose draw three cards, deal four damage to one enemy in play, or reduce your threat by five. Uh, threat is not an issue. We need to kill off this so we can quest faster. So uh, Gandalf comes into play, this enemy gets uh, 4 damage, then we will uh, quest and we will quest and we'll save down here to attack. Actually, uh, let's not quest with Gandalf, Gandalf can hit and help kill off that, but we need to defend now. No. So, so annoying that Gandalf goes away at the end of the round. Do we want to quest with Gandalf or... I think we are at 5, we are not advancing yet, so... Uh, can Gandalf could defend, but we can't defeat that enemy yet, so it is what it is. So, hard choices. Do we have, we, we don't have any resources, okay, so I'm discarding this to quest harder. So, six versus two. And secure this. So we are 10 versus 2 and we get a uh, King Spider. Uh, each player must choose and source one character they control. We don't have any. Well, of course we have one. And uh, 4 versus 10. So this is cleared and this is cleared. So Six or so three, two there, there, and four here. So that is enough. At least we got past the first card. Fork in the road. When you defeat this stage, proceed to one of the two a chosen path stages at random. 
And uh, the questing success doesn't carry over to the next quest, so we can't just add one there. So we over, oh, over committed to that. And uh, of course, uh, well, uh, this enemy came into play, so it, now it comes to engage us, and it will hit us without any one defending. So, uh, defending player must use an exhaust one character they control. Uh, well, two characters, we, everyone is exhausted. Unfortunately, uh, another hero dies. Can't be helped. It stays in play. Gandalf goes away. We're ready. And that is that turn. Let's go to the next and probably the last turn. We add a resource. We don't have any cards in hand, but we draw one. Doesn't help. We don't have the resources. I am questing. We'll see what happens. Uh, when revealed, each player discards all events cards in their hand. Of any. Uh, we are successful at questing. So at least we get to the last card, so we shall please. Let's see what we get. We get uh, uh, each player must search an encounter deck and discard five for one spider card of their choice and add it to the staging area. We must defeat the Ungoliant spawn. Well, let's do that. At least we have the end goal in sight. Really doesn't help us. Oh yeah, I think we forgot to add a threat last round. So we are at 30. So, uh, we are questing. Uh, uh, we quested, so this Yeah, do this too. Yeah, so yeah, so this is engaged. It's Elvin, and Elvin dies. I think I I might have uh, forgotten where I was in this turn, but yeah, that would be the end result either way. So this enemy will kill us, and that is it. So unfortunately, the spirit deck couldn't handle all of these uh, damn enemies that were coming out to get us. Of course, we got the wrong uh, 3A, 3B side. Uh, the other one is to uh, quest for 10 uh, progress and you win, but this is much harder for the spirit one. So we were a bit unlucky with the encounter deck, so we lost uh, Eleanor really early. Then uh, we also lost Don here and we misplayed a bunch. So this is still a new game for me, so bear with me when I'm learning uh, the game and uh, while filming it's quite often difficult to uh, remember to notice all the when revealed on such effects, so that is it. A bit, bit difficult still for me, but I'm learning, so hope you still like this playthrough, thanks for watching and until next time.